Hey everybody, it is Hyper, and it's uh, good to see you guys again. I haven't made a video in quite a while. I've been busy with uh, personal stuff in my life. Uh, again, more medical stuff and getting ready to start school. So it's been kind of stressful. I had to put a pause on YouTube stuff, but I am back. Real quick, before we start the video, I finally have uh, community features enabled. So I can start doing polls and stuff like that. And I really want to hear your guys' feedback on uh, what you would like to see in the future from the channel. I'm working on a mini documentary right now. That should be coming out soon. I lost six hours of footage I was editing for it so um, that would have been uploaded probably a month or two ago I just got really demotivated after all kinds of stuff happened but I'm back in the saddle again all right so definitely uh, look out for those polls and uh, tell me what you'd like to see and tell me how I'm doing and again I'm gonna start uh, streaming again on Twitch potentially YouTube we'll see how that goes um, now without further ado let's get to the video and that's uh, going to be the bunker series continuation and uh, this week we're gonna be doing Z4 so let's get on to the video All right, as far as the bunker series goes, it's pretty much a series where we are going to take a look at every bunker in the game Scum, and I'm going to show you how to um, find it, infiltrate it, um, and, you know, loot it without, uh, you know, getting caught by the sentries and just doing everything as safely as possible. I do it with primitive gear that you can get with a fresh spawn character with all base stats. That way I can prove to you guys that any bunker can be looted by any players all right now um you'll notice that i have a primitive bow i have a spear i have a quiver some arrows and a club with spikes all of these are not required but this is the gear that i would use at a bare minimum anytime i'm going into a bunker so let's take a look at what bunker we're going to be doing today so today we will be taking a look at the Z4 bunker in the uh, southwest corner of the entire map on the small little island right here. Now the only way to access the Z4 bunker is either by air or by sea. There are no bridges or anything to get you down here. Now once you make your way to this little pathway, um, you will be on the north side of the bunker right here. And um, yeah, let's let's take a look at the surface features and then I can get on to show you guys how to sneak in and start your looting. Now, I do love the Z4 bunker. Um, it is very similar to the uh, B2 bunker once you go underground, but the top surface is actually really cool because it's got a lot of unique features, right? So you're going to see it has a radio tower up there. Uh, typically, that does have the ladder uh, door under it, but that does not this time, right? You're gonna come up right to the main gate though and uh, you'll see Mr. Sentry right here. This is like what I usually call the main sentry, the one that guards the main entrance. Um, he's got a pretty short travel back and forth between here, up there and back. So um, it, it's not hard to sneak into the entrance but you don't got a lot of time to work with. So I would not recommend going in the main entrance unless you're really experienced with uh, timing and making sure you're quiet and the distances for detection, all that good stuff, right? But luckily the ladder is super easy to sneak into. Probably the easiest ladder to sneak into in the entire game, I might argue for that. Um, anyways, uh, you're gonna have this little guardhouse right up there at the start. You can get some bobby pins there, uh, duct tape, some other stuff sometimes. Left hand side, you're going to have this little like train car over here, uh, a few tarps, nothing too crazy. You're gonna have this broken down uh, like wrecker truck right here. You get some uh, nice little uh, bits of uh, high quality scrap metal and it looks like there's some crates over there i don't think you can loot those though now if you look at the second level over here above the uh, entrance on the concrete platform you're gonna see one of these uh, barracks buildings with the uh, four bunk beds as well as the kitchen in it so that's good for finding clothing and food items um, so definitely check that out if you're starting out now you're gonna see just behind that uh, further south you're gonna see this red roof and um, in that red roof, there is a workshop. It's got a restroom in it. It's got uh, a lathe, a drill press, and a mill in it. And I believe some containers you can open and check for other stuff as well. Now, if we uh, take our eyes to the center, just uh, on top of the entrance itself, you're going to see one of those white like uh, warehouse buildings. Uh, good for finding tools and like materials of concrete and things like that. This one has tarps inside. Uh, I think one or two are military and the rest are just the regular civilian tarps. So those are also good for just finding uh, different types of loot. So not bad at all. Um, and the last thing uh, just immediately you can see from the entrance is the little um, 
shipping container connex box office right there so those are good for finding weapons um they're good for finding bobby pins uh duct tape all that uh, pretty much same stuff you'd find in offices and other places but um i have found that uh these little offices more often than not will have a weapon of varying durability inside or some ammunition a lot of shotguns a lot of 22s a lot of um, nine millimeters as an m9 so definitely check these out anytime you get a chance so let's make our way to the east side and we're gonna come around this corner up here. Uh-oh, he's looking for me, interesting. Or no, he's not, my bad. I thought those were red lights, they're not. But anyways, anyways we're gonna come up here and you're gonna see that uh, on the um, southeast side of the bunker, there is a Quonset hut. Um, a lot of people call them hangers in game. Uh, the hangers are the big ones, so um, it's just confusing for me, so I call these Quonset huts, right? Inside, you're going to get all those military tarps, 7 cube crates. Those are great for finding your military gear. Um, another reason I like this bunker a lot is there is there, there, there are a ton of holes in the fence, so you're not going to get, like, boxed in and, um, you know, trapped if you go inside looking for an exit. If, uh, say, the sentry notices you or there's players, like, uh, pursuing you, there are a lot of places to escape from. There's a lot of concealment in the bushes around there, and there's a lot of cover in the form of trees and stuff so I, it's a good bunker to sneak in and out of uh, I, I would say it's a good beginner bunker now um, the other thing I want to show you is there's a halipad up there that's not very common in this game um, there's some tarps nearby it some other like scrap metal sources uh, I believe some uh, porta potties um, and yeah it's, it's just interesting uh, you don't really see that uh, a lot of places on uh, the server so it definitely might be a cool place to build if you are um, on like a solo server or a server that uh, is PVE without sentries or something like that. It's not the way I like to play, but hey, to each their own, right? Anyways, um, let's show you where the ladder is and how we're gonna be sneaking in and infiltrating. So on the uh, far east side of this uh, bunker, the fence over here, kind of like halfway uh, down the perimeter, you're gonna see this interesting little metal construction right here with some brick down here. And that is the ladder. The ladder door is right there. Um, it's got cover. Um, it's so interesting. Like I've never seen this before. I don't. I don't think it's on any other bunkers. I don't know off the top of my head. I do so many of these videos, but uh, yeah, I like it because this is this is probably the easiest bunker to sneak into in the entire game, thanks to this little thing right here. So, anyways, let me show you how we're gonna do that. I'm gonna just gonna walk up behind this little guy right here. Once he turns around, I'm gonna open the door as soon as I can. And we are just going to climb down the ladder the first chance we get. So how about that? Now, um, really quick, before you loot a bunker, uh, I, I should put a note for this at the beginning of the video. At the bare minimum, you should have the improvised bow, uh, the improvised uh, club with spikes, or just the improvised club. Um, the spear is nice to have, but it's not a requirement. I would say the club is your go-to because the club allows you to um, get crowds of puppets off of you and short notice in case you get like cornered or um, you know you get overrun of any sort. Uh, you can't really use your bow in those situations and the spear, um, you know, it just doesn't attack fast enough, you know, for it to be of any use to you, right? So anyways, when you come down the ladder, it's always good to uh, check your corners, check the hallway to see if there are any puppets or players inside that uh, would be murderers and looters, but I don't see any in here. Uh, we're going to come up with this door. It is locked. As you can see, there's nothing in there. Nothing too crazy. Now, if we're going to go all the way to the end of this, we're just going to see a ton of tarps uh, flanking either side of the office, and then we're going to see um, several lab offices on either side as well. Good for medical supplies, good for uh, sources of water, potentially Potentially antibiotics, bandages, and stuff like that. Um, kind of further down, you're going to come up to an observation room. So if you want to find those Phoenix Tears or those green lockers, that's a place to do it. On the walls, we have a few weapon lockers, so that's not bad either. At the very end of the room, we have an examine room, so that's not bad. Again, more medical supplies, potentially some clothes, some other tarps and boxes, not bad. And at the far end of the hall to your left-hand side, you are going to see the first armory of two, which is really nice. And again, it, it, this is very similar to the B2 bunker. It kind of mirrors it almost exactly, except this one has two armories, which I really like so and again um yeah let's uh keep going down the rest of this now there's nothing really uh down this way besides what i showed you already 
Uh, so we're gonna come down this curve and you're gonna see there are um, some vending machines, some more tarps, and some of these um, chemical lockers, which are nice for finding. Honestly, I find a ton of uh, helmets and body armor in those, so that's not bad. Um, we've got an office over here. If you're looking for locks, you're looking for that uh, duct tape, bobby pins, backpacks, weirdly, you find a lot of those water and MREs and stuff, right? Got some bathrooms, you can find some uh, soap. Uh, sometimes you can find, you know, bobby pins and, you know, other things like that bathrooms are always good to check um again we've got some water sources on either side in the form of vending machines and refrigerators you come all the way down this ramp there's going to be a door to your left the very end there is going to be a lab again good for medical supplies good for antibiotics antiseptics you can get all that good stuff in here another vending machine if you're looking for bottles or a source of hydration or uh, some cans some tarps and that's about it for this hallway so we're going to open up this corridor to our left we are going to get this out just in case close the door behind us um, actually no I leave these doors open um, in case I need to run out typically um, I'll, I'll pop in I'll listen see if there's anything in here doesn't look like there's anything in here and I'll go back behind here and close the door because uh, zombies can spawn in the bunkers while you're in it still and it's happened to me where I leave all the doors behind and then I have a train of like 20 zombies chasing me it's it's not a good time right so we're gonna come out of this door we're gonna open this door and you can see there's an exit sign right there those do those are real those will help you find the actual exits and this is gonna take you to the main entrance uh, right up that uh, ramp will be the main entrance right there i'm gonna leave that door open um and then we'll come back to it later so i could show you guys uh how you might want to sneak in in another spawn point now this hallway is awesome because you're going to have a ton of military tarps and regular tarps lining the halls as well as these shipping crates those are good for all kinds of different stuff like literally anything you think of uh, NVGs, food, civilian clothes, military clothes, weapons, all of that stuff. Not bad. Another depository right here. Uh, I love depositories because you pretty much always get at least water or food. Um, and I honestly see a ton of like combat boots spawning in them. That's not bad. And the reason you want combat boots is because they have the knife slot. Um, you can have a boot knife if you wear them. That comes in handy. Oh, right on. Painkillers and charcoal. Not bad. Anyways, you're going to come up to this little intersection. Again, just like B2, there's going to be these two window doors. Um, flanking either side of this little like uh hallway right here these are awesome because you don't have to expose yourself to clear them out you can just uh aggro the zombies kite them over this door and then beat the hell out of them with your club or your spear shoot them with arrows if you want and never have any risk of injury right so i do that clear this room out and you're gonna see like you got some crates to the right you got restrooms on either side um you've got some seven cube which are the green crates and then some military tarps as well as this door right so anyways uh, we're gonna come across this side make sure you make sure this is clear before you open the door and again it's another window so it's easy to clear out without getting hurt immediately you've got some vending machines and fridges to the right you've got some file cabinets not bad and then you have your second armory over here to the left hand side so pretty good stuff pretty good stuff two armories can't complain there on the right hand side you got another depository uh we have a battery not bad um but yeah again good place to find the water and the food we're gonna keep going up here we're gonna have a lot more tarps up here we're gonna follow this bend to the right again not much in here but uh you're gonna see that this is another exit right here and um this is actually where we uh uh, come over here and uh, you're gonna see that this doesn't actually have a ladder in it this is the ladder room in b2 so um, I just think it's funny that it mirrors it in every way except there's no actual ladder which typically would be right here where I'm standing right so it says exit and it can be a little bit uh, leading 90% um, of the time like this this is right and um, but in this case it's not and another reason uh, that it is different is there's typically weapon lockers flanking these hallways and this one doesn't have them I don't know if that's like a surefire way to tell if it's actually a ladder room or not I haven't really tested but maybe I'll, I'll look into it right at this far end you're going to have a another observation room again green locker uh, screwdrivers, uh, pills, all that good stuff medical wise in here. Nine out of 10 times as well, you're going to find a puppet in there too. So just, just be prepared for that. Now you got these cardboard boxes. These ones outside of the observation rooms are good because uh, they can have like, honestly, from my testing, almost anything in them. Bolts, um, you know, some uh, screws. I get screwdrivers in them all the time. Um, clothing, like literally anything, you name it. So definitely these cardboard boxes are worth checking, even though they look unassuming. 
we're going to open this door. We are going to go across to the other side, and that's going to lead us to this ramp room. Um, and at the end of this ramp room, there is going to be uh, two restrooms on either side. There's going to be some more chemical lockers, some more vending machines, nothing too crazy, some shipping crates, and we are going to be in the um, control room up here. Control rooms are nice, again, duct tape, food, bobby pins, pretty much guaranteed, um, padlocks, pretty much guaranteed, and sometimes there's a, uh, a weapon over here. This is a weapon spawn point right here, so definitely check it out if you come into these control rooms. So let's make our way out of here, and then we are going to go back down all the way to the other side so we can start making our way into the uh, other closed like bulkhead door downstairs. So we're gonna just make left and hook all the way around down. We're gonna come up to our door with a window on it and we are going to make a right turn. This is gonna take us back to the main entrance and the ladder, and this is gonna take us over to the kill box. Again, there are some seven cubes over here, great place to find military gear and um, weapons and stuff. Also ammo, attachments, all that good stuff. AWM magazine, right on. That is honestly, since the update came out, this is the first time I have seen an AWM magazine at all. So I actually will be taking that, because I wanna do some spawn testing. So the new weapons from what I've seen are pretty rare. That's good though. Um, so what you wanna do when you come up to any door in bunkers is you wanna listen, uh, make sure there aren't any puppets behind them or players. I do hear puppets, so we're probably gonna run into them back there. But uh, yeah, there's only one way to find out. So let's open the door. What I usually do is I peek in really quick. Yep, and pretty much every time, either on the right-hand side or the left-hand side, there is going to be a puppet hiding behind the door. And it works with like the hinge doors as well that swing open. Um, yeah, I haven't played Scum in a while, so my timing's kind of off with my melees. I'm usually more uh, put together than this. But uh, yeah, check your corners. Every time you open a door, check behind the door, check your left and right to make sure the puppets don't sneak up on you. Because a lot of the times they can be dormant and quiet. Then once you're in the room, they corner you and you don't have any doors open or a way out. And it's just a good way to get yourself bogged down and killed in a bunker. Anyways, there's tons of tarps in here, tons of seven cubes in here. So there's all kinds of loot at the very bottom level right here. We're gonna follow this S bend to the very end, and you're gonna see this like yellow orangish strobe light up here, and that signifies the kill box or the ladder. You can see this one's the kill box with the keypad right there. So there is the Z4 kill box at the very bottom. And that pretty much covers the entire bunker. Um, let's go take a look at the entrance really quick. I'm gonna show you guys potential options for sneaking in or out of that. Again, I don't recommend it. It's, it's not hard, but I would just say stick to the ladder if you can, because it is incredibly easy to get in and out of the ladder on this bunker. And I had to record, re-record this video, so there haven't been a lot of puppets down here, uh, um, because like OBS crapped out on me a lot lately. It's been corrupting a lot of my videos, and a lot of my audio has been missing. I don't know why it's doing that. It's super frustrating, but yeah, it's been kind of uneventful. <laughs> Usually, there's a lot more puppets. I do have. Um, higher spawn rates on my server and my solo for my uh, series. And uh, I don't know, it's usually not this uh, smooth sailing as far as combat goes. And I know I didn't heal my wounds, but it was uh, it was a uh, condition one, not a big deal. And I'm not like super dirty or anything. I'm not worried about infection. So there is your ladder right up here. Let's go all the way back down, um, show you the main entrance from the ladder. Again, make your left hand side right here. You're gonna go through the store that says exit. That'll take you right to the main entrance. Saw his hand sneaking through. Wanna make sure there's nobody else in here. Take care of this guy really quick and then we'll continue on our way. Again, this is why the club is awesome because uh, yeah, close quarters. And it actually does a decent amount of damage towards uh, armored uh, players and zombies versus like uh, piercing weapons do. Yeah, see, just uh, like six or seven smacks and he's down. All right, let's go see up here. Open this door and go into third person so we get better uh, field of view. Anyways, oh yeah, see, look, that's what I want to show you. On either side of these doors, there's a spawn point that a lot of people forget about. So if you're running in or out of a bunker, check these. Like, weapons spawn in them more often than not. A lot of the times it's just like an M9 or a Glock, but um, occasionally you can get some good stuff. I have found... Um, SDASs, um, 590s, and I have found a hey, in crossbows and M16s and stuff. So definitely check those out. Really easy loot for the pickings. 
Now, if I were to sneak into this, it's a lot like B2 again. You have your entrance right there. You could go around the left side through one of the holes in the fence. Honestly, you just hide in bushes and only move when the uh, uh, sentry is facing away from you. I have found these ones are pretty sensitive up here, so you'd be careful. Now, if you go this way, you can see there are bushes and a lot of stuff to hide right up until there. So just wait till he turns around, and then I would just jump over the edge and come straight to the door. Again, you don't have a huge window of time to do it, so it's possible. Not my uh, go-to, though. All right, so um, let's make our way back up to the ladder, get our butts out of here, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the whole Z4 bunker. And again, guys, like, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading a lot. I've had a lot of health issues lately. Like, I always do. I don't say that for sympathy, but it's just the truth. If uh, I'm gone or I don't make content for a while, that's probably why. Um, got a lot of family stuff going on lately. So, it's not that I'm trying to neglect YouTube or that I'm giving up or anything. It's just I've, I've been pretty busy in my IRL business. Um, so, um, yeah, I definitely will continue to do this. I do it as a hobby. I do it for fun. I enjoy doing it. I don't make money doing it. Maybe one day, like I always say. But uh, that day is not yet come. But with your support, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. So, uh, yeah, you saw it. You just climb up there. Wait till he's turned around. You can see him um, pretty closely. Typically, I would say look around in third person to see where the sentry is. But if he's away from you... I know... Uh excuse me he's not gonna turn around anytime soon just make a break for it you can either go to this hole on the right or this hole on the left and it's super easy to sneak out right again not a bad bunker not a lot of complaints i have about it come straight out of this and you've successfully looted the z4 bunker and here we are let's make our way back to our little camp area really quick so anyways guys thanks for watching the video i hope this helped you um if you're a new player uh like this stuff uh, is stuff I wish I knew when I started playing. So hopefully you guys stay tuned and watch my other videos in the series. And I do all kinds of different videos. I do let's plays. I do tips. I do POIs. I do all kinds of stuff on the channel. So I'd appreciate the support. And hopefully you guys can get stuff out of those videos too. Um, if you've been here from the start, you guys are awesome. You've gotten me this far. And uh, hopefully we can go to the moon together with all of this. And, you know, I'm just having a blast doing all this stuff, right? So bear with the interruptions and, uh, you know, the issues I have my day-to-day -day life sometimes. Uh, those are just minor speed bumps. But uh, hopefully one day this is going to be a, a big and booming community. Again, like I said, do this for free. I don't do it for the money. I do it because I enjoy it. It's a hobby of mine and I love doing it. But I would also love to do it full time. I'm not going to hide that fact. Um, who wouldn't, you know, get paid to make YouTube videos and play games all day? Sounds great, right? But anyways, if you feel like supporting me, go ahead and check out my Patreon and um, my social media accounts. Uh, huge help. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me how I'm doing. Request content. And just interact with me. I promise I don't bite. I'm a pretty easy going person. D uh, don't, don't be afraid. Join the Discord. Uh, love to talk to you guys. Love to meet you guys. Love to see you guys in my server, which I will be making almost public pretty soon uh probably in october september time frame when the game gets a little bit more hashed out and i have more of a uh, following on the profile anyways without further ado thank you guys so much for watching the video i can't wait to see you guys next time i love you all and 